Well, we'll go back to another episode of, of Detroit Become Human. Uh, let's get into it. So, from what we've seen last, uh, Todd had, seems to have issues. Some relating to uh, this uh, red ice. Let's see what we get ourselves into this time. Well, today. November 5th, 2038. 9.58 a.m. or p.m. Here's our boy Marcus, I do believe. Yep, Marcus. Take care of Carl, wake up Carl upstairs. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Hmm, this is such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Take you to the bathroom now. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Mm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Mm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. 
You're welcome. Seems like a nice breakfast to me. Thank you, Marcus. Television. You find something to do while I finish my breakfast. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Let's get it up. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet.
So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting and proving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. But... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Hey! Tell me, Dad, hey! What's he got that I don't? Smart, hey! Or obedient, Stop that! Like me, right? but you know what? Get out of my face, bitch boy! Son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's that, enough! I'm gonna punch your lights out if you don't stop. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. 
Dude. You never loved me. Maybe if you were on that Zaza, maybe he would love you. Hmm. That's a predicament. man. Call the police on his ass. He pushed me, bro. I'm a human being. He pushed me. Gonna a zip hands on. Android's pay. Dio intruded to act. Bro, I'm going to break down and hit you in the forehead, motherfucker. Here's a buddy, boy, Connor. RK800. Let's open here. I don't care if you're not an android. <laughs> Find Lieutenant Anderson. Hello, sir. I don't care, this is an objective. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlight. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. You know what? I'll buy you one for the room. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. Do that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Bros, they sent out an android of cat. Yes, we did. And, uh, you can't spell me, just drink. Don't walk away from outside. Damn, partner. You wait here. No, thank you. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. No thank you, buddy. Cut the conflicting orders, selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. Josh Douglas for Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming Hello, Josh. Anything. Hello, Josh. Typical okay. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. <laughs> it's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant had paid his rent for a few months. I thought he drove by. So he was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell. 
smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Now, well, stayed easy. It wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. Morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know Eat about his hand? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need. So dude hit the android down. Yeah. Dude was hitting the android. Android took the knife. But sir. Come on, wait. Duty calls, you know. This letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Religious offering. Locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Even escape.
48 stop damn Red eyes. Carlos or Stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. Bonk. 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 up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. Trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. We got fun, this motherfucker. Yes. Take the chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, gonna check something. Come on, we got this. Miss it all.
man. Just move the chair out of the way. Located it. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant. Oh shit. Chris, Ben! Get your asses in here now! Come on! Partners. Well, that's about it on the uh, um, dual upload upload of this game tomorrow. Have a great night.